Let's talk about the last part of this series, at least for the moment. In terms of academic self-efficacy, we have all of these different parts that we've talked about. We've talked about um, reading a text, reading a journal article, calculating your grade, and resourcing. The last part is asking for a, a letter of recommendation. And by the way, I didn't do my greeting, but you guys know where you are, and I'm Clarissa Sorensen Unruh. All right, so put that interjection in. Asking for a letter of recommendation, folks. There is something that is really understood by excellent students and by professors and such about how you ask for a letter of recommendation. And I have noticed over time that there are several people who don't understand how to ask for a letter of recommendation. So let's talk about it. Okay, asking for a letter of recommendation is one of the most important things that you may do. You're trying to get into whatever your future school is, right? So medical school, so on and so forth. The letter of recommendation that you want wants to be excellent. You want an excellent re letter of recommendation. You want someone who's able to say, hey, this person is absolutely awesome in every single way. And if they have any faults, their faults aren't that bad. That's what you want in a letter of recommendation. That makes you look good to the school that you're applying to. Asking a professor that you have gotten a C in the class of and never showed up to, not the way to go, folks. The way to do this is to ask professors who, in classes that you have an A in, and that may know you better because you've visited their office hours, you've had a lab with them as well, you've taken multiple classes in a row, you wanna to get to know your professors so that they can write you a great letter of recommendation. And maybe even if you got a B in their class, they're able to say, you know, they try really hard, they have a good sense of what's going on, they may not be able to put it on a test, but always, but they are really excellent students. They just have some faults in terms of their ability to write it down. That's what you want, folks. You want basically letters of recommendations from profs that you have gotten an A, maybe a B in the class of. You want profs that know you. And that have seen you in many contexts. OK, so uh, so basically, if you have like a lab and lecture, if you have someone who is your research professor, if you've worked alongside someone, that is excellent. That is fantastic. But the big piece here is they need to be able to know you. When you approach someone who, has, who had you a long time ago and recognizes you, and you're asking for a letter of re recommendation, it is really good to provide them with some kind of CV or some kind of detailed you know, letter Something that says, here's what I've been up to and here's how you know me, right? So this is the semester I took the class in. This is how, this is the kind of student I was. This is um, who I, you know, what I look like. Just some basic things so we can jog our memory. Over the course of my career, I've taught tens of thousands of students. <laughs> I don't remember every single one, even if you did get an A or B in my class. And so having a CV or a letter that reminds me, that jogs my memory, that says, oh yeah, I remember that person. They were awesome. I will definitely write them a letter of recommendation. Because a letter of recommendation needs to say not only that you're awesome but it also, and your strengths, but it also needs to signify some of your weaknesses. And your weaknesses need to be more like growth opportunities than weaknesses. And you want someone who has known you, who understands who you are. That means two things. One, you need to get to know your professors. And if you like a professor, you need to follow them as much as you can. Two, and, and do things with them. Two, you do not want to ask a letter of recommendation from someone you got a C, a D, an F from 
even if you got a B, if you were asleep half the time, if you didn't show up half the time, if you, they don't really know you very well, that's not a great way to go. They're not gonna be able to talk about how awesome you are. And that's what you really want when you're applying for these schools. All right, more can be said on this, but we'll cut it off there. Until next time, adieu.